this was the story that I'm actually a couple days late on, but I really do have some thoughts on this. And in a little bit, I'm going to post the article in the chat because it's a long story from Yahoo Sports and I believe Vince Goodwill. I'm sure a lot of you guys saw this by now, but I'm actually going to put on my headphones and we're going to react to about a minute clip of this. This was Kevin Durant talking about the, first off, I guess trade rumors in general, but just the more recent ones. You guys remember when all that stupid Kevin Durant draft day, Houston Rockets BS was going on. You guys remember that? And I, you know what? I'm actually glad Vince Goodwill from Yahoo Sports talked Oops, I hit my microphone. I'm sorry. I'm really glad that he talked to Kevin Durant about this. I really am. Because I am somebody who's kind of passionate about this stuff. But let's actually hear hear it from the man himself, Kevin Durant, about what he was thinking during the trade, or not the trade deadline, during the uh, draft and when all those stupid Houston Rockets rumors were coming out and when... Sean or not Shams when Stephen A. Smith and Adrian Wojnarowski were like the Houston Rockets could trade for Kevin Durant and the, and the Houston Rockets are all interested and they want Devin Booker blah, 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 and Kevin Durant's going to leave Phoenix. Let's just listen to Kevin Durant who opens up about the trade rumors, how he is dealing with them. And I absolutely love his response. And we're going to listen to it right now. One minute later. Ready? Here's Kevin Durant. Tension. Were you online on draft night when everybody was saying? Hey, Kev, it's hard not to hear what they got to say about you. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, because especially then you could just make up lies. Like, everybody going to believe you. Like, you could just press the KD want to leave button anytime you want some attention. You like, think it's a button? Yes. It's a for sure a button. <laughs> <laughs> what else is going to get people going? Around this time, besides, oh, the 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 journey, man, is leaving again. That storyline going to always hit, you know, the yeah, people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's why they see the alerts on ESPN on your phone. Oh, KD's thinking about leaving. That's how big that story is, which is whack. Because <laughs> I'm talking to Phoenix every day, all, you know, since the season ended. Wow. Like, our, our GMs, coaches, everybody, we've been locked in. So, it's like to say here, somebody say, well, Phoenix doesn't. Phoenix wants to get out of the KD sweep. So I'm like sitting there like, where is this coming from? Okay. So first off, I absolutely love what Kevin Durant said. <laughs> and I have more thoughts on that later. But I do want to read you guys another quote here. And I will put the story in the chat right now if you want to go read it. There's more quotes in there. I'm sure there's actually a whole podcast version of it. But there's there's a story. Wanted to give credit where credit's due, and I'll put it in the uh, description box after the show, but I'm going to post it in the chat right now. But speaking of, oh, wait, that wasn't it. That was the wrong link. Uh, but speaking of this story, I posted the Twitter clip instead. Let me just do that. Sorry, guys. You already know the drill one man show here. But yeah, here is the actual link. If you guys are in the chat, I'm sure you guys are able to click on it. So, yeah. Here is a certain quote, though, that I also liked. And again, because that was a one minute clip from, I think, like a 14, 20 minute interview or something like that. But here's also what Kevin Durant had to say. Um, Kevin Durant repeatedly called the claims lies because um, he's always in the, the trade rumors. And first off, I also love how he mentioned how he's been talking to like the Suns front office and, you know, is in constant communication with the team. And you guys already heard that. Like for somebody to say Phoenix, Phoenix wants to get out of the KD business. Katie's sitting there saying, quote, where's this coming from? Like, I love that. And I also love how he said, quote, it bothers me that people lie like that and that the audience eats up the headline. I get sad when people buy into lies and just make up, sh like make up shit. Then quote, it's bigger than ball at that point for me. I can't control that. I feel for people. It's a bad practice to have when you just believe anything. For one, just believe what you see on TV. 
And then it's another bad habit when you're just lying. So again, that's like a follow-up quote from the the from what we watched and everything. Um, and again, <laughs> I know I'm probably going to come off as like a KD stan right here. But I really do believe this. I love how Kevin Durant claps back at the media and claps back at the, 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 the online Twitter trolls. How he he will fire back, even at Suns fans. I've seen him do it to Suns fans. And I'm sure he did it with the Nets and the Warriors and the Thunder. I love it. And I'm not trying to like get on this show and preach to you guys. I'm not trying to get on the show to be like Mr. Hot Take, because trust me, I'm I don't want to do that. And really, speaking of hot takes, that's kind of what Kevin Durant is talking about here. It's like a hot, hot take clickbait culture. And I love how Kevin Durant fires back at those people. And that's sort of where, again, I don't want to sound hot hot take or clickbaity here, but I I wish, I really do wish, like, Devin Booker would fire back at more people. We all saw the, quote, hate that Jason Tatum got after winning his first championship. And I wish Jason Tatum would have clapped back at more people. Jalen Brown gets a lot of hate sometimes. LeBron James gets a lot of hate. I wish more of these players would fire back at these online Twitter trolls. It's not even just Twitter trolls, though. I mean, a lot of it is. But, like, the national media, the Stephen A. Smiths, the Nick Wrights. Heck, even sometimes Woj. And I love Adrian Wojnarowski. Fun fact, I've actually met Adrian Wojnarowski. I have a photo with him. He was a very nice guy, by the way. But I kind of sometimes wish, you know, Devin Booker, Jason Tatum, LeBron, et cetera, even some of these guys like coming off the bench, I wish they would like fire back at the media and all these trolls, man. I love it. I wish KD would do it more. I'm just saying, I'm not trying to preach to y'all, but I really wish more players would do it. Um, that's just my personal opinion, though. And real quick, uh, I forgot to pull this tweet up too, but you guys already know uh, Espo from um, PHNX Sports. He had a good tweet earlier, and I feel like it kind of, in his own better words, I feel like his, his tweet here kind of helps not prove my point, but helps me talk about what I was talking about. So Espo writes, media demands human moments from athletes, real and raw comments. Katie gives them that, and now people are saying, quote, he can't win. He has the wrong approach. Give me a break. He's human. He was honest. He wants to be here in Phoenix. He is the only guy to win a title on our roster. And I love that, y'all. Like, that's a great, well, as Monty Williams would say, well done is better than well said. But you know what? This is a well said moment. This is perfectly written. And I love it. And it's funny because somebody's saying, or somebody asked who is saying this about him. And Espo responded, some local media members. I don't know who that is. Maybe I missed something. Um, But. The point is, me personally, I just, I wish more players would fire back at these online Twitter trolls, as Eddie Johnson calls them, bench warmers. Um, And I wish they would fire back at the bigger national media. And I don't want to sound salty. I don't want to sound bitter. But this is another reason why I personally believe, in my very biased opinion, that content creators and podcasters are taking over at least the basketball media. I don't follow football. I don't follow baseball and all that. So I don't know what the community is like in there, but this is why so many content creators and podcasts are on the rise. 
like, again, we've talked a lot about PHNX here because they do great work. They do great coverage. There's a reason they're so big. I mean, they're a huge network and all that, but still, they do great reporting. They do great shows. I've been on their show once. It was awesome. Um, you know, shout out to my guys over at the Suns Jam Session podcast as well. And so many others. And it's not just Phoenix. Like, I can, I could go all day with NBA content creators and podcasts that I follow that are doing great work and doing big things. So that is my Kevin Durant little spiel segment. Also, friendly reminder to put a bow on this. And I think Kevin Durant even said, like, don't believe everything you see on the internet. Don't believe everything that, like, the stupid ESPN shows, like First Take and all that are... Are, are talking about and just because you heard Stephen A. Smith of all people say it doesn't mean it's true. Um, also, that's a good segue to our next topic. And I'm not going to spend too much time on this because it's literally just one quote. But this was the reason all this Kevin Durant stuff and, and the national media making up lies, et cetera, et cetera. And real quick, I agree with Mary's comment. Thank you for being here, Mary. But she says, they see dollar signs when talking about KD. I 100% agree. And unfortunately, I have to kind of pick on my fellow content creators and podcasters here. It's the same with, you know, the, the NBA community. You put, you put Kevin Durant in your thumbnail. You put Kevin Durant in your title of your video, and it's going to get clicks. Unfortunately, that's the truth. Like, and I know that sounds negative of me to say, but it's true. Heck, sometimes, like, I can't lie. Sometimes I'll put Kevin Durant in the thumbnail, but I mean, I cover this team. Like, it's my job, y'all. Like, I have to. Um, okay. But yeah, so this was, this is just another reason why our next segment kind of perfectly segues into it. This is why, if you missed it, why our owner, oops, that's the wrong tweet. That's Espo's tweet. By the way, again, go sh go follow Espo and Gerald and PHNX. They do great work. But this is why our owner, the owner of the Phoenix Suns and Mercury, this is why he went to Twitter, and I talked about this. I already reacted to this, but we're going to do it again. This is why our owner put out a tweet saying pretty much the, the 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 trade rumors were false and what you're hearing on the ESPN and all that BS is false, saying, this is our owner saying this, Phoenix loves Kevin Durant and Kevin Durant loves Phoenix. We are competing for a championship this year because we have the team to do it. That is our owner. And speaking of that, Devin Booker had a comment on this. Um, and I actually can't find the tweet now, but I'm pretty much paraphrasing here. Oh, wait. No, I have it. I'm sorry. Let me pull up this graphic, y'all. <coughs> Excuse me. I didn't actually see like a video clip on this. Maybe I missed it. Um, but here's the actual quote here. This is Devin Booker. Um, you know, this was at the Las Vegas Team USA mini camp and everything. And... He applauded owner Matt Ishbia on his social media post before the NBA draft that shut down trade rumors regarding Kevin Durant. Devin Booker says, and I quote, never seen an owner do something like that before. It just shows you what type of guy Matt is. He's all in on this group that we have. We believe in the group we have and the talent that we have. Now, I'm not sure if there was like another quote after that. But that is Devin freaking Booker, the the Valley, Mr. Mr. Phoenix Sun himself, saying, I've never seen an owner shut down a trade rumor like that. It just shows you what type of guy Matt is. And sort of really the biggest quote here, he's all in on this group that we have. We believe in this group. We like the talent that we have. My guy, Super Mario Hoops, says, 
Kevin Durant, because this has definitely been a rant. Um, appreciate Saul's comment here too. ESPN and national par ESPN and national pods are mainly garbage. Your local pods are much better and truthful. That's why I follow the geek and the jamsters. I appreciate that, man. Now, in all fairness, I listen to a few national pods, some of the bigger podcasts, but I'll also say this. There's a lot I don't listen to, you know, just saying. Okay. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's awesome that Devin Booker said that. And, again, I know a lot of these players have a lot better things to do then fire back up people on Twitter, but I just think more players should do it. That's just my personal opinion. Much, much, much later. If Kevin Durant told the media or told me, like Suns Geek, I'd like barely go on vacation. I would believe him because this guy is constantly, constantly working on his game in the gym. Like, I love it, man. Shout out to KD, bro. I, I don't... I just, I don't know. I'm glad Kevin Durant's on our team, y'all. Kevin Durant, in the very small chance that you are watching this podcast, I just just know, Suns Geek here. Hi, my name's Suns Geek. Nice to meet you. Suns Geek has your back. I don't want you traded, Kevin Durant. Please don't leave Phoenix. Not all of us are against you, KD. I believe in you, KD. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're a Phoenix son, man.